Hi, Amy Fashion Tappings here with a little fun mail. I won a drawing. Jen, uh, Jennifer from Sunny Beach Couture did a drawing. She went to Beautycon. And um, I have this huge bag of goodies. Isn't that the cutest bag ever? And it is full. So I won the drawing, and so she sent me tons and tons and tons of cosmetic stuff and a few other um, surprises for me. But sorry it's dark out because it's actually raining. Well, it just got done raining, but the clouds are still here. I stopped by and I picked up the uh, the box last night. Um, finally, I was able to get to the post office and I'm so excited about everything that sh she sent me in the, in the giveaway. Like I said, she went to Beautycon and she uh, did a giveaway of the goodies that she got at Beautycon. That bag is just adorable. And um, it was in Los Angeles. So, but this is perfect timing because this is, remember I threw all my eye makeup out uh, and so I got, you know, some eye makeup so I get to try some new things, you know. I only have three items. I told you I threw everything out that had to do with the eyes. The only thing I have is an eyeliner, mascara, and eyelash primer. That is it. Everything else got thrown away. So, but um, the kind of foundation I naturally use is the powdered foundation from um, IT Cosmetics and I, it gets sent to me from Q, uh, QVC. Well, two of the samples she gave me are actually IT Cosmetics. So in here I got a CC Plus Cream and a No Tug No Tug Waterproof Gel Liner. So I've never tried the, their gel liner. So that's something new. Lots of like face masks and nail wraps, little silver nail wraps. Um, what I really loved is all of the lip products and they're all beautiful colors. Like this, uh, this one is from Velvet 59 and it's a perfect color. You know, I like my Bittersweet from uh, Urban, I think it was Urban Decay that I got in Ipsy and I went and bought the full size. Well, this color is perfect as a little paintbrush. And I love the subtle color. It has a hint of that hot pink. I know the lighting is bad in here, but it's got the hint of hot pink like what, you know, what's in my hair. So I love that. This was so cool. This actually lights up. I don't know. You see how it's changing colors? And it's a lip gloss too. It's from Style Lab. It's kind of funky because it lights up. The wand does. It's, it's actually the wand that's lighting up because the light is actually inside there. But it looks blue, you know, but it's actually just a clear gloss, but it feels really good. And it's by Style Lab. And then an, uh, NYX. I mean, there's just so much stuff in here. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get through all of it, but work in progress face facial wipes, uh, eyelash extension kit, lots of hair, different hair oils, um, and then the Tarte facial oil. I'm really into Tarte right now. I love their bronzer. Um, some tattoos. And the lip balm, Stella Rose, um, they taste really good. Are they, and the scent, the fragrance makes you feel like you're wearing that, that, that flavor. This is Stella Rose Pink, and it's just, oh, just a, it smells amazing. It smells like the lip glosses from when I was a little kid. They're just so fruity smelling, but the Stella Rose uh, chapsticks, I already put one in my purse because I loved it, so I, I threw the, one of them in my purse. Eyeshadows, the blush nude set from Maybelline. And I have zero eyeshadows because I threw them all away. Uh, Skin Fix hand repair cream. And then some different uh, facial washes and toners. A cute little Barbie fingernail polish. Po little heart post-it nodes. Sent me a little birthday card too. Happy birthday from Betsy Johnson. And then she wrote me a little message. It's so sweet. Um, some Tarte um, 
Brazilian self tanner. I didn't know. I didn't know um, Tarte did self tanner. Some little headbands, and then um, baby lips. I hear really good things about this. I haven't tried yet. The baby lips lip gloss. Sorry, I lean back and it gets too dark. And uh, I'm sure it's going to be more of a clear. Oh no, it's, it's actually the color that's in the bottle. I won't be able to put it on over the pink because it'll look funny. Oh, it has like a bubblegum smell to it. So, I mean, there's lots of stuff in here. Oh, oh, I was excited about this too. Now, this Weightless Oil Mist, this company, um, OGX. Beauty Pure and Simple, OGX. I'm not sure like the name of the company, but I actually use this product. This is what I get at the grocery store. Um, I don't use the B5. I use the Weightless uh, Argon Oil, but this is also a weightless oil mist. I love this company's products because I have very thin, fine hair. And so I use their weightless oil mist, but the one that I have at home is Ar Argon, the Argon Oil. This one's a B5, moisture and vitamins for your hair. And so I'm excited to try it because I love this company's weightless oil products. They work so well. And just, I mean, little gift bags from Bet Betsy Johnson, Juicy Couture. And then she threw in um, Juicy Couture, Troy Surratt lip gloss set. I gotta take the lid off. I mean, it's so cute. But from Betsy, uh, this is from Juicy Couture. Little lip glosses. These little tins. These little, t these are the little tins. I used to, I remember from when I was a little girl. These little metal tins with the lids. Us girls used to collect them, and um, we would buy them. I mean. Our, our desk at school, I just remember, was just full of these hard tins and you slide them and it's got the lip glasses in them. So that's gonna be fun to keep my purse. Reminds me of the good old days too. And then, let's see. Another Juicy Couture item that she threw in. Let's see, Juicy Couture, cute little boxes. Was a little Juicy Couture wallet. Isn't that cute? It's, a, it's glittery. And it's, it's just a little wristlet, so it's perfect for like um, going out. Then I don't have to take my whole purse. I can just hold on to just this because it's got the little strap. And it's Juicy Couture. So cute. I was so excited when I was going through this last night. I tried to film it last night, but in the townhouse that we're staying at until our house is built, the lighting sucks. Worse than like here. The lighting is worse than here. And the walls are like that cream color, so it actually, oh, it's starting to rain on me. Uh, the walls are that really, really kind of like yellowish cream color, and so I look like I was standing in an airport doing my video. <laughs> the coloring was so bad. Oh, and then I don't know if I showed this to you yet. When, I am so excited to try this one that was in the package. When, um, hair product. I see it on QVC all the time. It's, it's expensive. But it's just so weird. I didn't want to spend any money on ever buying it because I wanted to try it first. And I've ne I've never seen samples for when. I'm so excited to try this. When is that cleansing conditioner? It, there's no lather. You put it in your hair, and it. You, I don't know. It's it, it's different. It's a whole different way of washing your hair. So I'm excited to try that. Hopefully, it's okay on color treated hair since I have more colors in my hair than a peacock. Um, but, uh, yeah, so hopefully I'll be able to use this on color treated hair. I'm going to look on the internet first, but so I got that in there too. So, I mean, this bag, like I said, it was just chock full of, and I know there's a couple lip products in here, um, that aren't in here that I already took out and put in my purse. Cause like I said, I got this, um, I actually, I picked it up last night and went through it last night, tried to film last night and this, the, the quality, the, the, the film was terrible. And I was just, I wanted to, you know, to be able to show you everything that was in there. It's so cute. And uh, Jennifer's YouTube channel, I love her, I love her YouTube channel. It's called Sunny Beach Couture. And I think she owns a shop too, because she has um, a website. 
but um, she does I mean she is like the guru of handbags um, she every Brahmin I've come across I think she has um, she collects uh, Kate Spade everything Kate Spade now she has a lot of the um, like different um, not just Kate Spade bags but Betsy Johnson Brahmin Louis but uh, Louis Vuitton um, I mean she's got the hugest purse collection I've ever seen and um, and she's so bubbly everything about her is just I mean she uh, you know the, the first thing I think of when I think of Jenny is the color pink because <laughs> I mean she she just she has that pink bubbly personality so go ahead and check out her YouTube channel it is a lot of fun um, sorry my windshield wipers are probably too loud but check out her YouTube channel. She's a lot of fun. I really enjoy watching her videos. Um, she's uh, she's quirky. She's energetic, and and she's got a fabulous sense of style. Um, and like I said, if you like Kate Spade and if you like Betsy Johnson and stuff like that, she is right up your alley. So go ahead and give her a check out. I'm gonna I'm going to put all of her information down below, uh, the links down below. So. Okay, well, that was everything that I got from Jenny. Uh, thank you so much for doing that giveaway. That was such a sweet giveaway. And it couldn't have come at a better time for me since, like I said, I threw away a lot of my stuff. So I got some gel eyeliner. I got some eyeshadows, tons of lip product and hair product. And so I'm excited to try it all. Well, and then as far as updates with the house, um, I worked out there yesterday at the, at the new place. Um, the house movers are going to be lifting up the house and moving it. Um, they're, we're supposed to meet our contractor out here this week um, to get everything planned. And uh, they're trying to squeeze us in before a, a big two-story house that they're moving. They're trying to squeeze us in before. They can't. Then I got to wait until the beginning of October, uh, sometime in October, to get the house moved. And that's just drawn it out that much longer that we're stuck in this townhouse <laughs> um but uh so i went out and i've been working during the day while the kids were at school uh, moving pavers i'm going to insert a picture this is the little tiny um farmhouse that we're going to lift and move and use as a, a little guest house for when company comes to stay so and you'll notice that the front door is plywood uh we were the mower shot a rock the mower shot a rock and shattered the front, the front wrench door. So thank goodness we're buying new doors. Um, but I had to dig up all those paper stones and move them down to the bottom of the six acres um, so that uh, the movers don't ruin and or the the movers and their trucks and their backhoes and stuff don't drive on those and bust them because those are expensive to replace. They're like. You know they're a good inch and some of them are two inches thick those paper stones and so i actually used our little riding lawnmower and a bucket and a little trailer behind it loaded those up and took those at the bottom of the property so that's what i was doing this week and and um uh my husband was surprised at how much i got done i was surprised at how much i got done this girl used a riding lawnmower <laughs> I, had to, I had to call my husband and ask him how to use it <laughs> Um, cause I wasn't sure about how to get it started, how to, you know, I was afraid I would, I would, I would hurt it, but I didn't, I got it done. So that's what we did so far with that. And then, um, Judy, uh, had asked if I would talk a little bit about like where I'm from, uh, a little bit more about my, you know, upbringing. Well, even though I live in Georgia, y'all know I live in Georgia. Um, I'm actually, um, uh, born raised went to college went to school everything in iowa so i'm an iowa girl midwest girl uh, i was a school teacher for several years um but due to my husband's career uh, we get transferred a lot um that i just couldn't keep up transferring my teaching license from state to state to state because every state has a different um uh, prerequisite for your teaching like teaching license and um so then I'd always have to go back to college and get one or two more courses just to get a license for that state. And then boom, two years later, my husband gets transferred again. <laughs> so I retired. I've been retired um, for, let's see here, how many years? Five years, six years, almost six years. Yeah. So, and, and it works out because, um, uh, you know, being raised in Iowa, 
you know all my family's there a lot of, you know most of my family's there and so for me you know being down here in Georgia by myself you know I, I want to be able to dedicate my time to the kids I'm not down here by myself but you know what I mean but then also one of you had asked why I sit in parking lots for hours on end you know well, that's because um, my oldest uh, goes to college and his college is an hour drive uh, If not sometimes the traffic could be a little bit more um, But an hour drive each way for some of his classes because um, it's a you know They have different campuses and so for you know some of his classes. It's an hour drive Well, he doesn't drive because of his disability. He could drive um, but the anxiety level it was just too high the amount of traffic that he has to deal with and I just don't want to do that to him you know so I enjoy driving him so I drive him to his classes well since it is an hour commute um, I just stay up there and and you know sit at Starbucks or go shopping or <laughs> Uh, meet meet the girls for coffee or you know there's all the different things that I do or vlog you know sit in a car and vlog but you know on the days that you know I just I don't drive back home some days some days I do you know if he has a long day and you know I don't want to sit up here all day long I will drive back um, but you know some days he'll have a short day and so all I have to do is go you know mess around in the town you know this town here for you know an hour or so then you know I'm okay with being in the car <laughs> it is it, besides I don't want to put that many miles on my car so the, the less trips I have to make the better so it works out so that is why I do a lot of videos in my car because I spend a ton of time in my car I always laugh because I'm like a full-time uber driver the only thing is, is I don't get paid and my customers are, are two boys <laughs> and they're my kids so uh, yeah that's why I'm in my car a lot um, that's why I started doing the car vlogs to give me something to do so what other questions were there oh I'm an only child and um, I, my father is uh, he's passed away but uh, my mom is still feisty as ever and uh, and so but I have a big network of family on my mom's side um, that uh, come down to visit a lot so Oh, you saw them in the pictures too. My my one vlog, my mom came down with my aunt, and they got their hair cut kind of like mine, and uh, they had a little makeover day. We had a lot of fun. So what else? You know, I'm frugal. <laughs> I'm just downright cheap. Um, but uh, so I belong to a lot of like, you know, auction sites, estate sale sites, you know, garage sale sites, that type of stuff. And I actually scored a entire oak kitchen, an entire oak kitchen for $1,500. I am so excited. It has the countertops, it has a ton of cabinets, and all we have to do is go to this, this person's house and disassemble the whole kitchen and, um, and remove it because they're renovating their kitchen. The kitchen's only 10 years old. And so we are actually gonna take all the kitchen cabinets and um, we're gonna use those in the little farmhouse that we're moving. We're gonna remodel that kitchen that's in that place. And then we're gonna use leftover cabinets, you know, in the basement of the new house and out in the garage. And so um, my husband's all excited because I found these this whole entire kitchen. There's a ton of cabinets. And so we are actually gonna go to someone's house and we're gonna disassemble their entire kitchen and haul it off and put it in storage until the house is built. So we saved a ton of money there. So we're really excited. Um, that's, that's one thing, you know, one thing, having to renovate the little farmhouse while we're building the other house you know that stuff can add up so the more we can re you know recycle or upcycle or whatever uh and make look nice the more we're gonna save and so like saving those paper stone those paper stones from the ground moving them i'm also um, bringing out our landscaper and gonna have him uh you know let us know how many of the mature bushes and plants he can save that's around the property because those are expensive to rebuy those when they're mature I don't you know there's something about moving on to a house that has mature plants and not little tiny bushes I mean little tiny bushes can be great but you know you want your little tiny bushes to grow up to be big beautiful mature plants well this house that we bought has tons of beautiful mature healthy beautiful plants and so I'm gonna to try to have all of them uh, 
not killed, you know, when they're doing the demo, you know, the moving of the house, not the demolition of the house, but God, they don't, don't demo, no demolition of the house. When they get up to the lift and move the house, I don't want them ruining any of these plants. And these are some beautiful, mature plants that have naturally grown and taken care of themselves uh, and they look fabulous. So I want to try to keep those. So my landscaper is going to come out and he's going to go through and see which plants he thinks he can successfully move. And so we're going to move them into a temporary area. I'm going to put dirt put them in the ground, temporary area, and then we'll move them back after the house is built. So hopefully they'll, sur they'll survive. But, um, you know, they've lived a long life. I don't want to take that away from them and plant new babies and get rid of them. You know, I want to try to save them if I can. Those plants are just gorgeous. If I can locate them on my phone, I'll insert some, pict some, uh, some more pictures of um, the house that we're moving if I've got them on my phone. So, well, that's pretty much all that's going on. This has been a, you know, we didn't do anything, I, well, I didn't do anything over the holiday weekend. Um, I was dog sitting. Um, my husband and kids went to visit family um, in North Carolina, but the family, you know, a family didn't tell us they were coming until like Monday of the holiday. Well, you, when you've got dogs, you know, boarding places they pack or boarding places that you trust or that you're used to. You know, I, I'm not. I'm very picky. There's only a specific place I will take my dogs to. And I mean, they're booked for the holidays. They were booked, you know, two weeks in advance. And um, and they didn't tell us until Monday that they're gonna be there on Saturday. So I didn't get to go. I stayed home with the puppies and um, got caught up in some well needed rest and uh, laundry and all that kind of fun stuff. So, and then what else? I'm always saying, what else, what else? I should make a list. I keep on saying I'm gonna make a list and then I have the, the, the notebook out I leave it on my kitchen counter and I forget it because when I come up with things I want to talk about, I'm in the car and I'm like, oh crap, my notebook's at home. Um, I might have to put notebooks all over the place. I used to keep uh, keep it at my phone, in the notes of my phone, but then, um, you know, I don't want to have my phone out while I'm driving. My phone stays in my purse, so I don't know. I have to figure out a way to, to jot down my ideas and make a system so I can um, talk about the topics I want to talk about and still remember them. Because right now I know there was a couple of topics I wanted to bring up today and I'm forgetting. It never fails. So, and I have another, another thrift haul I found on my uh, hard drive <laughs> that I haven't posted yet. But um, I haven't taken pictures of the outfits. And um, in the place that we're staying at, I don't want to take pictures of the outfits in that place because the lighting is just horrible. And so, um, and then, you know, I'm always, you know, I suppose my son could probably drive with me someplace to take pictures of them. But I just have a few outfits I had taken pictures of, but I might post it anyway without the pictures that, you know, just, I know I have pictures of at least two of the outfits, but I might, po I might post it anyway. We'll see. We'll see. And then, well, this is one of them. This is a shirt. Look at this t-shirt. Isn't that cute? It's Bugs Bunny. And I can't remember the cat with the hat and the little, the mad scientist. It's an old cartoon from our day, and it's in green. So I like to wear it because it's a it's a burnout. It's a burnout T-shirt, and then I wear a bright lime green bra underneath, so you can slightly see the bra underneath through the burnout. And so, I don't know. I like wearing this. I thrifted this. I think this is when my mom was here, my mom and my aunt, and I think I only paid like two bucks for it. But it's one of those burnout tees. I love how soft it is, but I just love this like this little cartoon character on it. And then I'm wearing my pink chinos shorts so i'm very casual today um and i look really red today i don't know why i look i look really red today i must have got some sun when i was working doing the rocks so well i don't want to bore you guys to death i think that's about all that i have going on today and um oh i know i just remember one thing i was trying to think of there is this little these these kids you have to check out their web, uh, their YouTube channel. Um, it's uh, Love to Create, I think it is. I'll put the link down below. Well, one little girl did a little shout out in her little bio. So when I was typing up, I looked up, uh, looked up my channel on um, YouTube and just trying to see if there's a way I can organize my playlist better or something. And um, one of her videos popped up for for fashion toppings, and I was like, oh wow, how interesting! And I and so I 
clicked on her, on her video and she did the shorts that I did, my uh, pajama shorts. She did a fabulous job. This little girl is going to be a fashion designer when she's older. She she had it all together. She did. She explained it well. She did a fabulous job showing our sewing. And um, so I went through and I looked at her channel. She's got a fun little channel. This little girl, I'm not sure how old she is. She's preteen. Um, at least I think she's preteen. But uh, she's hilarious. She, she uh, does a great job talking with the camera. Uh, she does a great job with her editing. And she did a great job with her sewing. So I went through and I saw a few of her other projects that she had did. She's a cr crafty little girl. So if you get a chance, check her out. Show her some love. It's a love, the number two, create. And I will put the, like I said, I'll put her link down below. Um, but, uh, I, you know, give her some love and some encouragement, you know, and some, and some, you know, I, I, I'd love to see kids be that driven, that creative and that talented, uh, be supported and, and lifted up and, you know, just tell her how wonderful she's doing. Cause I, I, I saw her site and I was like, wow, this is a little girl and who's going to do big things in this world. So I thought she was fantastic. So that was one of the things I wanted to mention. And then, um, I haven't done any thrifting. You know, I got so busy doing like grrr, manual work, <laughs> you know, with lifting the rocks and, and, and tree branches and everything else that I haven't got a chance to go out and go thrifting at all. And I need to go thrifting. I don't need clothes. Uh, by all means, I have no place to put them because of how tiny this townhouse is that we're staying in until the house is built. But, uh, I need a little retail therapy, I think. So maybe I'll do some thrifting. Um, maybe this weekend. We'll see. I, I got to help tear, tear out that kitchen this weekend. So I guess not. It's more menu labor. <laughs> so I'll get to that later. Okay. Well, I am going to go and get myself a Starbucks. I haven't had any coffee today because I left it on the counter before I took this long drive. Left my coffee on the counter, and uh, and I am just dying for some caffeine. Maybe that's why one reason I can't stay on topic. But then again, I never stay on topic, so I don't know. Okay, all right. Well, this is Amy Fashion Toppings with another car vlog. We'll talk to you later. Have a great day.